Good evening, everyone. So did you watch the video posted today by Food and Sport uh, titled Outstanding Testimonies of Healing with the 80-10-10 Diet and Dr. Doug Graham? I watched it, and what can I say? It was a complete manipulation of the viewer's emotions with the crying and the uh, soft music in the background. Wow, I mean, this, is, this was like a poorly produced infomercial. Um, and, you know, what it got into, a lot of people were sharing how fasting at Doug Graham's retreat in Costa Rica, the, the miraculous healing that took place in their own lives. And I'm not denying any of these testimonies. They're, they're, they're real, I'm sure. Um, but you know what? Like, okay, you get maybe 10 people who, who's, who have fantastic results from doing these fasts that Doug Graham's result, and you get them on camera to share their story. Um, but what really got even more disturbing about this was how it almost seemed like these people are, were, were hypnotized by the persona of Doug Graham to the point of where they were kind of, the way they were talking about him was like he was a messiah, you know, that saved them from, from a life of illness and uh, whatever ailments they had. And, you know, this is where I, I get kind of, I'm very skeptical about that, this style of marketing, and, and you should be skeptical too, because it, it, it clouds over other realities. Nobody is that perfect. And um, and the way they, they presented Doug Graham was that he, yeah, was this amazing, very approachable, wonderful man, um, always there helping people out. Um, and, and his system is so wonderful. What about the stories where um, are, that are not so wonderful. There are people who met Doug Graham and have a different opinion about him altogether. And, you know, if you're contemplating about, I, this is not an argument against fasting or, you know, actually the video was, it, it wasn't just about fasting, it was about fasting and then following the 80-10-10 um, diet as well. But it, this, it seemed to be that the focus was on fasting and, and it was like, this was more or less a, the purpose of this video was to sort of bring back credibility to Doug Graham after the whole scandal with um, with Lee Lee and her experience at the um, at Doug Graham's retreat. Um, and so, yeah, what if you're planning on spending a lot of money to get help? Maybe you're sick, or um, you know, you you want to deal with issues physically and you need to go someplace and fast and you're willing to put out a lot of money for that, you really got to do your homework and ask some really important questions like what medical qualifications do the interns have? Those are the, I guess, the volunteers that work for Doug Graham. Do they have any medical qualifications? When a faster, when when fasters are being monitored, what tests are being administered to determine the status of their health? Are the interns just simply asking, "Are you okay?" and getting the feedback from the faster? Because if that's the case, you're not going to, you may not get a correct answer. The faster may not want the, the faster may not want to admit that there's something wrong when there is something wrong. So are there, so are there objective testing being done that can determine whether something really really is wrong or not, like blood tests, for example. In the case of an emergency, how quickly can a faster get medical attention? So if you're ill, seriously ill, and you're going way out to some remote area in Costa Rica, and the closest medical facility is a five-hour drive away, realize that you are putting your life at risk if anything serious goes wrong. Um, and if Doug Graham is a doctor, what are his qualifications? From, my, from what I understand, uh, he was a chiropractor. And uh, 
and even then, um, from, from what I have heard, that he no longer has that license anymore. So, yeah, you got to take that into consideration. He's not a medical doctor. Um, and then, how many? Here's here's the big question: How many people have become ill and have or have died as a result of fasting at Doug Graham's retreat? And what were the circumstances surrounding these cases? Now, that you will not see in this video posted by Food and Sport. Were all you know were the cases that did not go so well, and um, and what were the circumstances around those? We got Lee's story because she had the courage to 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 put this to put her story on YouTube so that everybody can can hear her side, and we have not had a response. I mean, I don't think Doug Graham has made a public statement about that. Um, so it's kind of like this video that Food and Sport has put up is is it's almost like. Let's distract people away from this whole thing with Lee and let's kind of make this picture look rosy. Don't buy it, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. I have respect for Doug Graham. Um, his book, 801010, really helped me out a lot. And, um, you know, especially with the 801010 macro caloric ratio and introducing a lot of fruits and vegetables into my diet that has been extremely helpful and I think that book he wrote was absolutely brilliant but he's only a man let's not put him up on this pedestal and and kind of make him flawless he's full of flaws and from the stories that have been coming out of um, Costa Rica there there are questionable things going on people have died at his retreat. And uh, and I don't know how many people have ended up, their conditions ended up being worse or other more serious things may have occurred. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, this is not a video against water fasting or anything like that. It's okay. It's, it's a response to the video that Food and Sport put up, which I believe is an emotional manipulation of the viewer and uh, to hide other realities about Doug Graham's practices at his retreat in Costa Rica. I personally don't know, I've never been there. So I'm not giving, I know it sounds like I'm being critical here. I'm not, I'm being skeptical. And every one of us should have, bring an element of skepticism to anything like this. Um, and ask questions, think independently, like don't get taken by the rosy stories and the soft music in the background and the people crying and you know, just don't, that, that doesn't establish anything. So that's my take on it. Be smart, think for yourself, ask the questions, especially if you're planning on doing one of these retreats. There might be a better retreat out there that can give, provide you with proper services if an emergency were to arise and do proper testing. So that's my take on it. Shop around, you know. Um, what do I think about fasting? Well, that's for another video. But for now, um, think. Be independent. Be your own teacher. Be your own guru and listen to your body. Take care.